O O T D. I'm about to head to a coffee spot. I am actually changing my shrug. Like I do want to wear this bolero. Ideally, I would have a black one, but I just don't have a black one. And I feel like the white does kind of work because of my shoes, but it's also a little bit too cold today. And I think I need like a proper jumper. So I'm gonna switch into a proper jumper. But this little crop is from Stax from the, I think it's the AW collection. And then my like cargo pants are from White Fox actually from a while ago. But I'm about to head off to a coffee shop to meet up with Soph. We're doing some work today. I'm gonna run some errands, future you stuff. And yeah, that's kind of my only plans. It's December 1st, which firstly means Christmas is officially here. And second of all, it means it's the first day of summer here in Australia. But apparently no one told the weather because the weather is shocking. It is raining all day today. Has been raining all week. It will be raining the rest of the week. Not really giving the summer vibes that I was hoping for but even the fact that I need to be wearing a jumper today what the heck it is nice not to be sweating look on the bright side I need to pack my bag I'm waiting for my video to export <gasps> did it finish oh it finished amazing um I need to upload this video before I leave but I don't need to leave for another like 10 15 minutes so that's not too bad but I'll need my laptop once I'm done uploading that video iPad water bottle of course camera charger is that all I need? SD card adapter thing. Maybe that's all I need. My video just finished uploading, so perfect timing. And also because it's December 1st, Spotify Wrapped came out this morning. And so now on the drive, I get to listen to like my top songs of the year. Like the playlist they make for you. It's a great day. Maybe I'll tell you about my Spotify Wrapped a little later today. We can go through it a bit together. You don't care what's real no more, no. You don't want me anymore. You only want So I told you guys that I would talk you through my Spotify wrapped. I'll just tell you the most fun parts or at least the things that I find the most interesting. My top artist of the year was Barzi, which is not surprising. He is almost always my top artist. Last year, I think Justin Bieber was my top artist, but every year before that, it was Barzi. And I was in the top 0.1% of Barzi listeners this year, which is very fun. I love Barzi. I'm not surprised by that. As for my other top artists, number two was Mac Miller. Again, not surprising. I love Mac Miller. I listen to his music all the time. Number three, unfortunately, we have Rex Orange County. I say unfortunately because of the charges that came out earlier this year. I haven't listened to his music since those charges were made public because obviously I don't really want to be supporting that. But before that, I was listening to him heaps. So I totally understand why he's on this list. And it's just really unfortunate that people cannot be decent human beings. I don't feel like it's that hard. But anyways, number four, Justin Bieber. Again, not surprised. Bieber fever forever. It's a lifelong illness. And number five was Post Malone. Again, not surprised. I think this is a very good representation of my music taste. So if you ever wonder what sort of music I listen to the most, Farsi, Mac Miller, Justin Bieber, Post Malone, pretty much sums it up. And then for my top podcast, of course, we had What We Said. It's pretty much the only podcast that I listened to this year, actually. I just don't listen to that many podcasts anymore. I do occasionally, like there are a few others that I enjoy, but for the most part, I listen to audiobooks if I'm not listening to music, but I religiously listen to What We Said every single Wednesday and every second Friday. And I spent 2,841 minutes listening to their podcast, which is wild to me. Oh, and my top songs. I didn't even tell you those. They're literally all Barzy. <laughs> I like that was number one, which makes sense. I literally, there was one day that I drove home from the beach, which is like an hour, and I listened to that song on repeat the whole time. Heaven also makes sense to me because I like that and Heaven were both singles earlier this year before the rest of his album came out. And then number three, four, and five are all from his newest album, which came out in September, I think. And those are also in order of my like favorite songs. So like, uh-oh, my top favorite song from the album, Little Miss Sunshine, second favorite, and One Way Ticket is my third favorite currently. And I think that's also the order they go in the album, which is just like a coincidence. But yeah, there's my Spotify wrapped for you guys, if you're wondering, which I'm not sure if many of you were. Let me know in the comments who your top artist was for this year, because I would love to know. But in other news, I would love to say thank you to Keto Skin for sponsoring the next little bit of this vlog. You guys know that I freaking love Keto Skin. They now have three products, which is so exciting. The OG Keto Skin product, the first thing they ever launched is a hydrating gel exfoliant. And this is amazing because it is like a very, very gentle exfoliant. Before I had this, I didn't use an exfoliant because I couldn't find one that was gentle enough for my skin. But what I love about this one is that it is literally completely 
gel. So as you can see, there's like no beads in there, no like little microplastics or anything like that, which are so harsh on your skin. And as you rub it in, it will kind of clump up with the dead skin on your face and then you just rinse it off afterwards. And as for their new products, these are so exciting. These two are serums. We have the Mochi Skin Serum and the Algae Super Serum. So the Mochi Skin Serum is kind of designed to make your skin feel plump, pretty much like the texture of Mochi. That's why it's got its name. And this is made with hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which are two of my favorite ingredients ever. I've been using products with those ingredients for years and I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I really do feel like those ingredients have transformed my skin. And then the Algae Super Serum is super cool. I think it's just so unique. And this also has an ingredient. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Sacran. Sacran. That ingredient can hold 6,000 times its weight in water. And just for reference, hyaluronic acid, which I just said is one of my favorite ingredients, holds up to 1,000 times its weight in water. And so many people live by that in terms of hydration for their skin. So if you're looking for something hydrating, you need to try this. I will make sure that I link Kita Skin in the description below if you want to check them out. And I also do have a discount code if you guys want to save some money, which is just Rachel 10. But again, everything's in the description. Guys, I got coffee on this lens. I've tried to clean it, but look at that stain on my... Mm. Maybe if we get a little um, sunglass cleaning cloth. I think I have some in here. Oh, that's better. Anyways, happy Friday, guys. Today is Liam's last day of holidays before he goes back to work next week. Well, I guess he's got the weekend as well, but... Kind of like the last day that we can spend together because we both have like plans over the weekend separately. So we're gonna meet with some of our friends this morning and have a little coffee date. And then we're going to Ikea. I might be buying some new bookshelves because I have completely run out of space at this point. I'll show you the situation actually. So these are our bookshelves right now and I've even started putting things on top there as well. We have like stacking here, 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 you know, completely full. Oh, and up there, here. And then also, this is like technically a TV unit. It's not even supposed to be a bookshelf, but I've just started putting stuff here too. And then there's even some sneaky ones on the side here, hiding. So we just need some more space. And I think I'm actually going to get some white ones instead of the brown ones. And Liam is gonna use the brown ones for his books because right now, like those are both of our books combined. And I think I'm gonna get some white ones and he's gonna get the brown ones. But I also did get a book in the mail yesterday that I haven't opened yet. If you guys watched my December TBR, as part of it, I got to order a book off my wish list. And so this is the one that I chose. Look at how stunning this book is. It came so quickly as well. This is Dolly Alderton's new book and it is obviously a hard cover, which we don't really get a lot of hard covers in Australia when books are released. So this is kind of an exciting moment. Oh, I love that. So this is a collection of some of her best articles from her column. I don't know if articles is the right word, but she has like a column in, I think it's a newspaper, where people just like ask her for advice. And I think this is like some of her favorite pieces of that, if that makes sense. I'm so excited to read this. It just feels so nice to I just, I feel like I wanna display this on my bookshelf. Like, you know how some people have some books facing outwards like this instead of like this? I feel like I'd wanna do it with this one because it's so beautiful. And I loved her other nonfiction book. I haven't read her fiction book yet. I really want to. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas list, but I'm very excited to have this. go home well actually no we got home ate some subway and now i need to clean up the mess that is our house it's kind of stressing me out at this point it is just like it's kind of chaotic and literally every single thing that is a mess belongs to me i do take full responsibility for my actions oh actually i take it back look at this monstrosity no literally everything else mess 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 um, kind of mess. This is just the new bookshelves. I need to sort myself out, but I do get this package. I actually got this little, this, this inspo from Liv Meshka. She posted, I don't know if it was a TikTok or an Instagram story. I can't even remember, but she posted this little bathroom organizational thing and I saw it and I was like, that is perfect for what I need. So I keep my skincare out and obviously my makeup brushes and my little sponge there because if I don't have my skincare where I can see it, I literally won't use it. But I also hate how cluttered it looks. So Liv posted, this is the wrong package. 
This is what I was looking for. I ordered myself some books for Christmas. But I can't touch them right now. They're Christmas. Let's open this though. So it's just this like acrylic little circular like shelving situation, I guess. That's what we're gonna try and do. Short corners. And then you just put this on top. Insert the four trays into ration slots according to your needs. Do I like put things in so that I know what, which height to put them on? And then I can just like put my like shorter things. How good is that? I actually have way more room than I thought. Like I could put other things in here. Like I could probably put my makeup or something in here as well. I'm gonna complete it and then I'll come back and give you a little tour. Guys, I am genuinely shocked at how much I can fit on this thing. I can literally fit all of my makeup and all of my skincare, plus like a few extra things. I'll give you a little tour. Here we have my cleanser, my day moisturizer, like my morning moisturizer and my SPF. And then in this little pocket, we have my night moisturizer. And then over this side, we have my serums which I do morning and night. I have my exfoliant, which I use like three times a week. And then my micellar water, which I just use to get excess makeup off at the end of the day. Then I took out this shelf, actually both of these two shelves here because I can fit my makeup brushes. I did put them in a little, a different little pot. I can fit my makeup brushes here. And then in this little cubby, I have deodorant, leave-in conditioner, and, and this mousse, which I use for my slick back buns. And then at the top, it does look probably a little bit messy, but it has everything I need. So I just have a few other bits of skincare, some little cotton rounds, cotton pads. And then I just have a few makeup products, just kind of wherever they fit. But this is like all the makeup I use on a daily basis. So I have two different foundations, powder, concealer. I also have my primer over here, setting spray, a little body spray. And there's even like still room here as well. I have my cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlighter, and behind those I just have lip balm, lip pencil, mascara, eyebrow gel, and eyebrow pencil. I'm so shocked. It just holds so much. Love that. Amazon purchase. I'll try and link it down below if I remember. Okay guys, we are going to attempt to build these bookshelves. I'm so excited. So these ones are gonna be changed to white and these ones will be moved elsewhere. bookshelf update. You guys saw me starting to organize, but I pretty much ripped that all off and started again. I decided to try doing rainbow bookshelves aesthetically. These are stunning. They truly are. Like I love how these look. However, it's not the most practical way of doing things. I really do love having my books separated by genre because like when I'm looking for a fantasy book, when I'm looking for a romance book, it's just very easy to find. So I honestly don't think this is gonna stay this way for very long, but I'm gonna give you a tour either way of what it looks like right now. And it's not perfect by any means, but I'll just like talk you through my process and yeah, my thoughts, I guess. So this is what it looks like. These are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea, by the way. They're the exact same ones as we had before, but we had the brown ones and obviously these are the white ones. One of the brown ones is now just literally on the opposite wall. And this is all of Liam's books, all of our non-fiction books. And so now these are all actually like almost all fiction and all just like my books. So the first like two shelves, are not color coded so we have series and i have turned a few of the books facing outwards just because if i don't the shelves look really empty so i just picked a few of my favorite covers to face outwards but yeah up here we've got series so obviously sarah j maas some jenny han we have magnolia park shatter me cruel prince inheritance games and then this is also mostly series also however i've started collecting the harry potter books i had these exact hardbacks when i was a kid i'm sure many people did but somehow we don't have them anymore so i've started collecting them once again but i'm still obviously missing <laughs> quite a few of them so just ignore that there's half a harry potter series there and then also ignore the classics i just don't know where to put them <laughs> 
random trilogy. Like, this is what I mean by I'm, like, not happy with the final product, but I just haven't decided what I'm going to do about it. But then, obviously, we have more series here, all fantasy. And then we get to the actual, like, rainbow shelves. So I've put mostly, like, black slash, like, darker colors here. Then we have, like, pinks, reds, oranges, yellows, blues, greens, <laughs> back to blue. And then mostly white and some, like, creamy yellows down there as well. Like I said, definitely not perfect, but it, ugh, it like, looks so pretty in terms of, like, being a background for filming. But, yeah, like I said, practically it's just, like, not it. But here is a bit of a close up of what is on each shelf so obviously we have the black books kind of our warmer toned books i just don't like how there's like thrillers <laughs> next to fantasy next to romance next to literary fiction but it does just look so beautiful and i do love having a few of the covers facing outwards because there are just some really beautiful covers so that is what they're looking like right now like i said it will probably change very soon but it's just kind of fun having rainbow for once in my life because i've never done this before like fully completely i've definitely had like one shelf be rainbow usually i do genre and also height i like all my books to be the same height like as you can see here like I don't love how it goes up and down up and down but yeah that's what the bookshelves look like right now and I might update you in future vlogs when I change it but I don't know when that will be So the girls and I had a little girls night planned to celebrate George and her new move to the coast and so I thought oh my gosh I'm gonna make George a cake. She loves cake. My love language is acts of service so let's do this. When was the last time I made a cake? I literally don't know. So I made some cakes and then the next morning I kind of trimmed them off to make them flat. I layered them, I crumb coated them, put them in the fridge for a little while and then I just went in with some pink icing and some sprinkles and just tried my best honestly. I looked at Pinterest for some inspo and look it definitely looks homemade which is fine because it is and I also definitely don't have all the tools that I would like to be able to make a cake like all the spatulas, the turntables, all that sort of stuff but for using what I had at home I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It is a lot later now. I'm pretty much ready to head out for the rest of the day slash the night. The girls and I are heading to George's place for a bit of like a housewarming slash like official goodbye because obviously we all live in Brisbane and she has moved to the Gold Coast. And so we just planned a little girls night to celebrate. Yeah, just like celebrate George's next step and her just making this big decision and doing something that she's been wanting to do for so long. I am so grateful for friends who celebrate me and my wins. And so of course, I want to be a friend who celebrates my friends as well. So the official cake is complete. I'll quickly show you. It is literally in a stacks box right now because I don't have a container big enough, um, but I think, I think this will work. There's also a tea towel in this box just to make sure it doesn't slide around too much. So ignore that. But ta-da! It definitely feels and looks very homemade to me, but that's kind of the point. It's made with love, you know? <laughs> but it says GC era because George has obviously entered her Gold Coast era, her GC era. But I think I'm gonna head off now. I've also made myself a coffee. I'm pretty exhausted, not gonna lie. Which is not good, because we're gonna do dinner and drinks and stuff. So I need to be alert and awake. So hopefully the coffee will help with that. But yeah, I'm really excited to see the girls and hang out and just spend some quality time. Georgia also doesn't know that I'm bringing a cake. I didn't want to tell her in case it turned out really bad because then I could just scrap it and pretend I never even tried. You know, she didn't know about it, but I'm glad it worked out and I hope it tastes good. The transport is honestly the thing that I'm most scared about, but hopefully we make it there in one piece. The grand finale. Give us a Christmas tree tour. Christmas trees from Jingle Jollies. Jingle Jollies? Yep. Oh. We have a gnome Santa. <gasps> That's very awesome. We have a dash hound carrying Holly. Holly. Running. Running. <laughs> we have another dash hound with a knitted scarf and Santa hat on. We have a little nutcracker soldier vibe. He's really cute. He's got a really nice little smile. We have Santa knitting a pride scarf. Obviously. <laughs> That's all. Thank you for coming. <laughs>